Hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. Today's video features a man who was once suspected to be one of Britain's biggest drug barons, nicknamed Tartan Pimpernel or Wacky by the press, Walter Douglas. Also boasting of how he fled from and managed to evade an international manhunt and is alleged to have amassed a wealth of over £20 million. Born in 1961 in Glasgow, Scotland, Douglas was allegedly a former milkman and petty thief before it was reported that he became involved in drug trafficking and money laundering with the Delta Crime Syndicate during the 1980s and early 90s. He would smuggle cannabis into the United Kingdom from Morocco, Spain and the Netherlands, earning himself millions in the process. An associate of Brian Doran, he was said to have used the plant and car exporting business as a front for his activities. He was also questioned by police for the 1990 murder of Charlie Wilson, who was a member of the Great Train Robbery Gang, but was cleared of any involvement after proving he was in Tenerife during the killing. He admitted knowing well-known crime figures in Marbella, but told the journalist that he was in fact a businessman and had interest in Dreamers Nightclub in Marbella and Dreamers Beach Club. International agencies confirmed at the time that there was no outstanding warrants against him. In early 1994, Douglas and his three partners were arrested by Dutch authorities after a freighter, the Britannia Gazelle, was boarded by British customs officers who discovered over 18 tonnes of hashish on board. One of the largest narcotics investigations in the history of the Netherlands, which included Dutch special investigators, British customs service and American Drug Enforcement Administration. The haul was reportedly worth £60 million at the time. Arrested by Dutch police at his farmhouse in the Netherlands, he was later tried at Utrecht High Court and accused of smuggling cannabis, ecstasy and cocaine. Douglas was also scheduled to be tried in Scotland, with the Crown Office in Edinburgh filing for extradition only hours after his arrest. With testimony from agents from the Netherlands, Denmark, Spain and the United States, prosecution accused Douglas and the others of earning £100 million from drug trafficking over three years. Douglas was eventually sentenced to four years imprisonment and fined on March 29th, 1994. His lawyer appealed the case claiming Dutch police used illegal phone taps to make the arrest and he was acquitted after serving six months in custody on remand and another three months while awaiting his appeal. After his release, Douglas was soon discovered by authorities to be living in southern Spain's Costa del Crime under the name Terence Tompkins. Spanish customs officials made several failed attempts to take him into custody following a two-year international sting operation, eventually raiding the wrong house. Two years later in May 1998, Douglas was taken into custody by police on suspicion of laundering an estimated £150 million. He was imprisoned in the notorious Al Harin de la Torre prison in Malaga, however he was eventually released after acquittal in court due to insufficient evidence. In 2003, he was suspected to be in Russia, working with the Russian Mafia. There was, however, little substance to these allegations, and in early 2005, it was reported that he went to South Africa with £4 million after a failed drug deal with the Russian mobsters in Latvia. During this time, it was also reported he hired two Latvian bodyguards, believing Colombian drug cartels might also be pursuing him. In July 2005, purchased a 75-foot Sunseeker Predator and made his escape from the country, sailing north for Spain. Worth 1.5 million, the yacht was fitted with high-tech radar and twin 1,200 horsepower engines in order to guarantee his escape. He has denied all these reports, however, saying he took a flight to Spain from South Africa, as most people would do. He said newspapers embellished stories about him and mixed up other people so that the people found it difficult to understand fact from fiction. In September 2006, he was caught while attempting to enter Ibiza using a false passport. Arrested under a warrant issued by a judge in Marbella, Douglas was detained for further questioning by authorities. As he had purchased a passport in the Netherlands, the charges against him were dropped and Douglas was eventually released. He did however remain on bail in regards to money laundering charges agreeing to report to the court on a regular basis, but was eventually acquitted. 
Douglas then fled back to South Africa, arriving in and around the last quarter of 2006, again with his two Latvian bodyguards, allegedly using the name Bobby Brown, he set himself up in Cape Town. There he connected with old associates Sean O'Neill and John Mundy. Douglas would reportedly become involved in the Cape Town underworld, and in 2010, Douglas was placed on a no-fly list in South Africa and had to flee to Thailand. In Thailand, Douglas again went into business with John Mundy. By this time, Douglas, John Mundy and Sean O'Neill had attracted the attention of both Scotland Yard and Interpol. Investigations continued in 2013, where there was a gangster's tea party made up of Walter Douglas, John Mundy, Sean O'Neill and Michael O'Neill, and was put under surveillance in Thailand. All of Douglas's associates, as well as his daughter, were arrested on the 5th of February 2014. Douglas in Thailand by Interpol and Thai police, with Mundy and O'Neill being arrested in the UK. The charge sheets at the time included alleged drug dealing, money laundering and murder in South Africa. Since his arrest, Sean O'Neill and Michael O'Neill have both passed away and Douglas had continued to keep the company of his alleged money launderer John Mundy in the UK. Little is known about his exact whereabouts as he moves from hotel to hotel, but what is known is that he keeps Mundy and his trusted lawyer Brian Swan in his inner circle, an inner circle that's so tight that not even Scotland Yard can hold him or his associates accountable. To this day, Douglas insists that the press had embellished and even made up his career as a narcotics trafficker. This concludes the story of one of Scotland's biggest drug barons, Walter Douglas. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.